I just showed y'all me parting this out. I have an in-depth passion twist tutorial on my channel already. I just wanted to show y'all how I'm doing this style because this is the viral popular mini passion twist and I did my own little spin on them as you can see with the color mix. So I'm gonna kind of like try my best to show y'all how I attach them. Okay, so I have my two pieces of hair. I'm gonna run y'all through what I do real quick. If you have any questions, please ask below. But I did not do the prep process with y'all because if y'all watch my vlogs, y'all know that I've been going through a lot. So me even getting this far on my hair, we thank God. So first things first, I have pieces, like half pieces of the hair. Like when I mix the color, I basically split the piece in half and then used one half with each piece. If that didn't make sense, I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain it in a different way. Not all of the hair that I'm using in my head is passion twist hair. I also have some kinky twist hair in here, hence why I have a mix of kind of like super curly and not as curly. And then I have some that are a little bit more straight. I like the diversity, I don't know. I just think it makes it look so much cooler and different. And so with your two pieces, for mine, because I wanted mine long, because mine are like past my butt, they're this long. I'll show y'all in a better view of like how long they are, but because I want them so long, I basically only like try and get the teensiest bit of it at the top. And because you're braiding most of the top, with my method, I braid at the top. And with Passion Twist, everybody knows that they're not really a style you get for longevity. You get them for cuteness unless you do them in a way that's going to make them last. And that's how I like to do my Passion Twist personally. Even if they are bigger, I like to do them for them to last for my client. You're just gonna start braiding at the base and it's okay if your braid is not perfectly taunt to your thing. Like if it's down a little bit because with this style, what I like to do is braid down a couple notches and then once I get down a couple notches, I will hold my hair in the middle and have the two pieces on the side kind of just like hanging and I'll push up on the braid. I don't know if you really understand what I'm saying. I'm sorry if it's not clear, but I'm gonna try and demonstrate it one more time. So you braid down a couple notches and then once you get down to a good point, you hold your hair out on the side and then you have the two pieces of the hair on this side and you're gonna push up on the braid. That makes the braid go a little bit tighter to your scalp and it also gives the braid a curly look at the top that makes the braid a little bit less noticeable. Braids with this type of hair aren't as noticeable, especially when they're small, when you do it at the top. Don't worry about the braid being perfect essentially because this style is not really about the braid, it's about the twist. And I will tell you that this hair does tangle easily. So you do have to have a lot of patience and you have to be very gentle because if you're not, you can mess up the curl pattern too much to where it won't work the way you want it to. So just really take your time with this style. Don't um, try and rush through it. And it doesn't actually take long at all. I would have not had such a week and like had to do so many things. I could have finished this in one day. So once you braid it down to a certain point, you're gonna split this piece in half and so the longer half of it is going to go to the side where the shorter hair is so see how the hair on this side is short because it's like just this and then the shorter piece is going to go to the other side i didn't show it as perfectly with this braid but i'll show it with the next one so y'all can see like what i'm talking about and let me detangle this so hold on just one second okay so now that i have that detangled what you're going to do is start rope twisting i know i started off fast but it's just because I do it all the time, but I'll try and slow it down for y'all as well. So I get the glue, not the glue, I get the gel on my fingers. And as I'm rope twisting, I'm making sure that I'm really, really pushing my hair into the passion twist hair and also pulling up on the hair. Not the, in the same way that you did it with the braid, but kind of similar. And that's what gives passion twist their springy, quality like you have to tightly twist while also pulling up on the twist and I don't do this throughout the whole um, twist I only do this at the top and then once it gets closer to the bottom I stop rope twisting because a my twists are too long B 
um, it's kind of a lot of work to keep on rope twisting. I would advise if you're someone that's not as seasoned and hasn't been doing hair for a very long time, you might want to just try your best to stop rope twisting because if not, you might tire your hands out because it is a dual, it's like a double motion. So while you're twisting around, you're actually twisting the twist between your fingers every twist notch that you make down. That's how you do it. So I'm gonna keep doing that all the way down and I will come back to y'all whenever I work on the next one and I'm gonna try my best to slow down the rope twisting. Okay, y'all. So I prepped the next one and this is a piece that has um, half a piece of Marley hair and half a piece of uh, Lulu Tress hair, the um, deep twist kind. I'll show y'all a picture of the packaging. I think I saved the packaging, and if not, I'll just find the pictures of it for y'all. Um, okay. So you start the braid like you'd start any other braid. You wrap it around your hair, and then you start braiding down using your hair as an anchor and the two pieces right now. So there's two pieces of the hair being added to the braid and then your hair as a part of the a leg of the braid and then you're going to keep going down and i'm going to try and show you all a clearer way of the push-up so now you've made all those notches down and mine is tight so i don't really need to push up but you're just going to push up a little bit and if you push up if yours is more separated than mine you can push up some more but i'm just going to push up a little bit to kind of give that braid a scrunch you see how it's like a little scrunched right now that's what I personally like for my passion twist. And then like I was saying, you'll have two distinctive pieces, one little short piece, that's right here, and then the longer piece. And you're going to split your hair into two sections. And you're gonna give half to the longer piece and half to the shorter piece. And then you're gonna just keep braiding down like that for a couple notches. And then after you get to your desired notch down, you're going to take the piece right here that did not get divided at all and try and find the little bitty tiny curly piece. And you're gonna give the tiny piece to the piece that has more. And then you're gonna give the shorter piece the side that has less. I hope that made sense because I know that that could be kind of confusing, but when you first divided it into two, you had those two pieces on the side. So you're going to just redistribute the hair according to the length on each side. And that helps it stay thick on both sides so that your twists don't look weird. Um, and then you start twisting down. I know I went fast, so I'm going to slow it down. So see how I made these little twists? But before I keep going down to keep this from putting too much tension up here and pulling, I'm going to take my clip and I'm going to clip it at the top so it doesn't move and I can keep rope twisting. So see, that's keeping it in place. So while you're rope twisting and doing all this manipulation down here, you're not causing any pain to your head up there. So what rope twisting is, is you see how I'm twisting the hair and I'm bringing it around, twisting the hair, bringing it around, twisting the hair and bringing it around. So you're gonna continue doing that on both sides while you twist, especially while you're at the top and while you're also doing this twist wrap motion, see how I'm twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. You're gonna also pull it up a little bit and you're gonna twist it, twist it, twist it, pull it up, twist it, twist it, twist it, pull it up. I hope that was like good explanation and like understandable for y'all and so I'm gonna keep on twisting it down and I'm gonna do this in real time so y'all can see what it looks like so I'm not gonna time lapse this part just for this braid make sure you keep it as untangled as possible now you can keep rope twisting if you want but you don't have to and then once I put the twist in my mouth which I'm about to so y'all can still see me twist down Hold on, let me get down a little bit more and I'm still rope twisting personally. Then you move the braid in your mouth to get lower and lower, especially if your hair is long like mine. And you just keep going. This is just regular twisting. You don't have to keep rope twisting. Sorry if you can't hear it with my hair in my mouth. It's almost finished. And I love it when there's a little curly tail at the bottom because that gives more of the fashion twist look. I'm gonna cut that little piece off and so you see the curly tail that's right there and that's the whole twist. 
yes delicious Woo! so that's that whole side finished so i'm gonna keep going and i'm gonna come back to y'all whenever i have one more so bye <laughs> Done. Yay. Done with the hair. 